Mitosis is a form of cell division that's used for growth and repair, and it does this by producing more body cells. So here's a diagram of a body cell, and in this body cell it should have the full number of chromosomes. The other thing about this body cell is that we know that half of these chromosomes come from the mother, and the other half come from the father. The last thing about these chromosomes I want to mention is that they do have this thread-like structure which I've shown you here, but they're otherwise not typically visible with an ordinary microscope. Now the first step of mitosis is that these chromosomes start to condense, so they shorten and fatten, and only at this stage do they start to become visible under an ordinary microscope. And once these chromosomes shorten and fatten, then they go ahead and replicate. I've shown you a diagram of what that replicated chromosome looks like. Notice that one half of that chromosome, called a chromatid, is identical to the other half of that chromosome. Once those chromosomes have all replicated, they then begin to align themselves in the center of the cell. As they are moving towards the center, spindle fibers form outside of the nucleus. And once those chromosomes have all aligned, the spindle fibers then come along and pull those chromosomes apart into two new daughter cells. Now those two new daughter cells, you can see are identical to each other, but they're also identical to the original parent cell, and that they all have the full number of chromosomes. Hello and welcome to another episode of What's in Lian So's Bag. There's like no air in this room, I need a breather. Where's that... Where's that... Where's that bag of breathers when you need one? <laughs>